Okay, I'm making this video so you guys know what you need. As you can see here, these are the feeler gauges that you're going to need. Of course, the camera doesn't want to focus now, so we'll do this. But, as you can see, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07, 0 0.08. Now, the factory spec for the valves on the Daytona 190s are between 0 0.05 and 0 0.07. Okay, now I went ahead and did 0 0.07 on both the intake and the exhaust. All right, now when you attempt to do this, uh, it's real simple. If you, whatever size you decide to make them, you know, you always go with the one above, as you can see here, 0 0.08. Now, what you do if you're setting to 0 0.07, you simply <coughs> adjust the valves <coughs> to 0 0.07, and you take the 0 0.08 feeler gauge, is right here and you try to put it in the valve you know under underneath the uh, the rocker arm at the top of the valve and if it won't go that's good now you have to have a t some tension there okay like if you're setting 0 0.07 what you can do all right is essentially it, it's all by feel really okay and what you're gonna want to feel is grab a piece of paper put a piece of paper between your fingertips okay so you're gonna take your fingers like this put the paper like that you don't have to squeeze hard just touch your fingers together and then with your opposite hand pull the paper out of your pinched fingers okay get used to that feel because that's about what it feels like the tension that you should have when you have your gauge under the valve you know you can move these back and forth see what kind of tension you got you know, but it's nice when you put it all the way in, you set it, and you slowly pull the feeler gauge out. And you can feel the tension. Okay, that's about what it feels like. And how you check it to make sure you got it right, like I said, you take the next size up, which, if you're going 0 0.07, you take the 0 0.08, and you try to put that under the valves. Okay, if it doesn't go, then you're good. And you can also check it the opposite way. You know, make sure that the uh, the lower one will fit and whatnot. You know, it takes time. Especially if you're doing it for the first time. You're going to be out here for a minute trying to figure it out. I'll tell you that. But in order to adjust the valves, you take this front cover off. They're right there. You know, I mean, really... If you're not mechanically inclined, it's best if you take it somewhere to have it done. Because it's not not something any normal person can do. Okay? But before you even do that, you take this cover off. Right here. You, you turn the, the nut in there. Rotate it forwards. So that way... And you watch the valves too. You know, when you see the valve go to the top. And you go a little bit more and it doesn't move that's the one you adjust okay and it also has to be done on a stone cold motor so it's best if you leave it sit overnight you come out in the morning and you adjust them then now generally speaking the exhaust valves tend to get tighter and intake valves tend to get looser okay now I went with the, the high end of the spec, the spec is between 0 0.05 millimeter to 0 0.07 millimeter. I went to the high end of the spec because I don't know exactly how this motor behaves yet. And I, I'm going to test this out now for about 200 more miles. I'll recheck them and see what's going on and adjust from there. You know, but I just went 0 0.07 on both. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens as far as that goes but you know you have to have the right feeler gauges which these are it you know these are the ones that you need if you see point zero zero six or something like that that's no good that's that's the wrong one got to be point zero six millimeter point zero five millimeter so on and so forth 
you know and I will leave a link in the description for the exact set that I purchased so that way in case anybody else wants to adjust their valves and is familiar with it you can do so you know but like I said if you're not if you're not even remotely close to familiar with it you know it's probably best if you don't do it because you can mess up your motor pretty bad uh, really bad actually <laughs> but this is more so for the people who know what they're doing and can actually do it you know it's not very hard but it's just certain things you got to know and I mean that's pretty much about the extent of that but you know there's no real book on the ZS 190s which is why I'm making this video you know because I came across the Daytona information which the Daytona is essentially the same motor you just get two more valves up front it's four valve head this is a two valve head so but you know same exact stuff roller rockers all that stuff I was actually kind of impressed that this little motor has roller rockers you know pretty pretty surprising there but if uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and like I said I will leave a link in the description for the set of feeler gauges that I bought for you to do this you know you can't you can't go to the auto parts store and get the right feeler gauges they they do not sell them at all not even close you know there are more inch feeler gauges where these are metrics but uh, I just wanted to give everybody a little heads up you know and what what you can tell too is once you actually adjust these they uh, you can hear a slight tick in the front you know you should hear your valves slightly ticking but uh, other than that like I said if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below and I'll respond as quickly as I can but thanks for watching and I hope this helps out somebody thanks guys